Now it's time for the gold medal match in the recurve women's team event. 70 meters, let me tell you, it looks a very long way when you're standing on the shooting line. So Karim, 70 meters is the wingspan of two Boeing 737 airplanes. Well, we've got Korea versus Chinese Taipei shooting over those plane wings. Korea came through the ranking round as the top seeds. Chinese Taipei were third. Korea beat Russia before taking out Great Britain in a strong semi-final for them. Chinese Taipei, well, they came through the quarterfinals and the semi-final strongly against Belarus and China. So we have Korea up against Chinese Taipei for the gold medal here in Den Bosch. And this is the same Korean team that won this medal in 2017. Let's go back down to the range. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field for the Reaper women's team gold medal match. Korea lead out the teams for this title match. Kang Chi Young, Choi Mi Sun, and Chang He Jin. On target number one, representing the Republic of Korea, Chang Ye Jin, Choi Mi Sun, Kang Chi Young. Defending champions, Korea. There's So Che Won, compound archer in the crowd. And here come Chinese Taipei two. shooting on target number two. <laughs> Representing Chinese Taipei, Lei Qingying. So Lei Qingying. Tanya Ting and Pen Chiamao. And Lei and Tang were part of the Chinese Taipei team that won the bronze medal in the team event at the Rio Olympics. So no mean feat for uh, Korea here up against uh, a very strong team. No, this is going to be an incredible match with some great shooting. They're world ranked number one and two in the world. I think we're going to see some great shooting here. That that coach is actually Coach Yu Su Jung. Um, I had the amazing opportunity to train with her in Korea, and I think the team really responds well with her. So we're preparing for the gold medal match here in the recurve women's team. Shooting on target one, Korea will get us underway. Quick shot from Kang, and she's just sighting right now. Well, off to the left for the 22-year-old Choi Yusun, making some adjustments by the looks of things. World number four, Chang, to shoot third. Nine. Looking relaxed. a lovely sighter. This is a great opening for Chinese Taipei. Start. A perfect 30. Yeah. 
world number one, Kang. She's still a little bit high, and there she's just adjusting her sight. So a 53 out of a possible 60 is a great score, but the quality these days is so good. Will it be enough? Ah, she smiled after that. It was a little bit of a longer hold. I feel like she tried to pull it through a little bit with too much strength. Okay. Solid shot from Lei, the 29-year-old. Just like that, Chinese Taipei have taken the first set, 56 to 53. Korea didn't have a, a bad start, but what a, a brilliant start from Chinese Taipei to lift the nerves in the gold medal match. Really great start from Chinese Taipei. They have very strong archers. They're young, but a whole lifetime worth of experience and talent. Yeah, great start from uh, Tanya Ting for Chinese Taipei. They saw an opportunity and Tan put it in at two at the 10. And then Lee followed suit with an even better one. And Peng, uh, the lowest ranked of the Chinese Taipei athletes, follows suit. It was just a superb start for them. I think it's interesting they have Peng in the last shooter, shooting position. Um, Tan Yating and, and Lei are just incredibly strong archers, particularly at the moment. So maybe that's just their strategy. They want to give her a little bit of confidence by setting the tone with their arrows first. Yeah, uh, Tan currently the world number two individually. Lei the world number 22. And you switch over to the Korean team and they've got Kang as the world number one and Choi as the world number 21. But they've got Chang in the lineup as well, who's the world number four. They're trailing right now and they need to dig deep on those reserves and experience and former success. So Korea trailing by two points will shoot first in the second set of this gold medal match in the women's recurve team event. I want you to take a look at Choi Mi Sun's neck. She just has a little bit of tape there, and that's just to keep her tab from scraping her, her neck because she has a very tight anchor. not characteristic of the Korean shooting. They don't look like they feel bad about their shot, so aiming or uh, sighting is not quite right. So when you come off the line and you're communicating to your other teammates and your coach, you have to talk about whether it was a good shot or a bad shot, or if maybe there was wind and all these other factors. So I think they're trying to figure it out right now. Well, they need to figure it out quickly. Because Chinese Taipei are shooting really well here. And that is a lovely shot from the 22 year old Peng. Kang 
Chit Young, the world number one, has to find the centre. Well, that's better. It's a bit closer than her first arrow, but it's only a nine. And we'll see that bit of tape you mentioned, Vanessa. You can also see on her face, she has a very distinct line. Her strings can go there every time. That's more like it. Well, 52 in the second step for Korea after shooting a 53 in the first. That wasn't enough. Big opportunity for Chinese Taipei to pull out a four point lead here. Ten. Tanya Ting into the 10. Lee can really take the pressure off the number three on the Chinese Taipei with a good shot here. Ten. Oh, another 10. They're on fire. <laughs> they really are looking strong. Five to draw level and share the points. Anything more, and Chinese Taipei will be 4 0 up. That's a nine. That's enough. 56 plays 52, and Chinese Taipei are four set points up in this gold medal match. They're looking so relaxed, Vanessa. Uh, I mean, here it's all now just about getting the same score as Korea to get to the target of uh, five set points to take the world title. But I wonder what's going on in the other camp. They are, they look like they're trying to stay relaxed. They look a little bit more serious in the start of the match. I think they're just re reassuring each other that they are going to make some good shots. Yeah, the Chinese Taipei team just looking so calm and cool, talking with coach. Well, it started the set with an eight and a nine, but uh, then they just dialed in on the center. And Tanya Ting and Li Chen Ying really took the pressure off Peng Chia Mao, who shot a nine to take the set points. Smooth, calm, cool, collected. Peng, wow, she looks a little concerned, but there's no need to be. All the pressure is on Kang and the Korean team. She stares down the 70 meter range. Korea will get us off the mark in this third set. And they need a very big score to put some pressure on Chinese Taipei. Good shot, almost hit the spider. Korea making a match of this. They look like they've zoned into the center as Chang steps up for the third arrow. Well, they needed a big score, a 29 out of 30. How will Chinese Taipei respond? Two tens required, otherwise Chinese Taipei will be trailing at the halfway stage. longer hold and again a long hold often goes up higher because they're trying to force it through the clicker too much so three nines they trail just by two points at the halfway stage but Korea can put it out of reach with these three arrows Yes, 
second 10 from Kang in this set. Just a bit high, but it was a still a good shot. Yeah, still making little adjustments, Choi, there, but Chang here can put this one to bed with a 10. And she's put it in the X ring, a brilliant shot under pressure. Korea will be on the scoreboard with these set points, but they'll still trail going into the final set. Chinese Taipei need to get back into the center with these three arrows. Good start there from Tanya Ting. That was better timing than her previous arrow, and again, it went right in the middle. Well, I should be a little disappointed with that one, but that's uh, her only real stray arrow ping. And uh, whilst Korea have got two set points and they're on the board, Chinese Taipei are still, you'd rather be in their position, right? I think so, because all they have to do is tie a set in order to win. And I think the pressure is really on Korea right now. They're just trying to keep each other calm, trying to remind each other that they are very good shooters and all they have to do is stick to their process. Coach giving a few words of advice and here are uh, the Korean arrows from that set and that grouping of four tens, very close, a couple of high nines though uh, they'll want to get rid of those I'm gonna call them errors but I mean they're nines we're shooting over 70 meters incredible stuff they're still good shots and I, I don't really know why they might be high there's a lot of different reasons why an arrow might go high it could be b shooting balance between left and right or bow hand or shooting it a little bit strong <laughs> coach just saying let's focus on what we're doing look pretty determined staring down the range waiting for the buzzer to go off of the countdown clock here we go the fourth set of this gold medal match here in Sarskenbosch Korea trailing by two set points need to get off to a good start Sound look on the faces of the Korean teammates. <laughs> Chang has recently been shooting very well. And she only gets a nine as well. So this will give Chinese Taipei some comfort. An opportunity has presented itself here. Oh. But they go into the eight. The nerves are building. Just heard the coach making a comforting sound. Good shot. Hey. And Peng again gets back into the middle. Chinese Taipei have a mini lead here at the halfway stage of the final set. Kang Chi Young really needs 
to show why she's the world number one right now. That's a good shot from her. Move up to Choi Eason. Just going up into the eight. That's very uncharacteristic of her. I think they really need to be putting pressure on Chinese Taipei right now, and, and it's not happening. Chang Hee Jin. And she puts it into the 10. A target of 54 set for Chinese Taipei. They just need to match that. They've got wiggle room of three points here. That looked like a great shot, excellent timing, and just executed right until the end. So still got that three-point comfort zone. And eight is more than enough. And nine to take this. Peng shoots the 10 to take the world title for Chinese Taipei and a look at the joy. It was an uncharacteristic, nervy start from Korea. Perhaps their sights weren't quite right, but boy, Chinese Taipei started so well. A fight back from Korea in the third set, but Chinese Taipei came back in the fourth. They are the world champions. A very young team, but so much talent. They have a lot of experience, and they're just like ecstatic right now. They must be very happy with their shooting. And there is confirmation from the target judge that Chinese Taipei have taken the recurve women's team world championship title here in Den Bosch.